Hello and welcome to this week's Veg Hack, which today is all about broad beans. And we were going to film it in the kitchen, but it's such a nice day that we've come down to the reservoir. One of my favourite things to do with broad beans is pick them when they're really young from the polytunnel and then just dress them in a bit of olive oil and some chilli and serve them with ricotta or another dip and then serve it as a snack in the Riverford Field kitchen as guests arrive. When they are young and sort of only the length of your index finger, they're super tender and perfect to eat raw, which means you don't have to pod them. I'm sure everyone has their own favourite way of using the broad beans once they're podded, whether it's through risottos or through salads or crushed onto a bruschetta and really whatever it is it brings such a nice fresh green to any dish. The only disadvantage to podding the broad beans is it seems like you're left with a lot of waste in the skin so today as part of our no time to waste campaign I'm going to show you a couple of ways to make full use of those so they don't go on the compost. I think for a long time I just presumed that the outer skins would be really tough and chewy but actually when you prepare them in the right way they're really tender when they're cooked. So the two recipes I'm going to show you today are one grilling the whole pod on the barbecue and the other is using the waste pods. We're gonna fry them to make a crispy snack. I think where possible, if the vegetable has a natural protective layer, then it's really worth cooking it whole because the outside will protect whatever's inside and cook it really evenly. The only thing you need to remember when you're preparing them is a lot like other bean varieties, they have got a stringy bit just down each side. So once we peel that off, the whole thing's edible. So all we're gonna do is really simply dress them with a little bit of olive oil and a sprinkling of salt and then put them straight onto the barbecue. So they shouldn't actually take too long. We're just getting a nice bit of colouring on the outside and it's surprisingly quick how tender the skins go and the pod steam inside. These really didn't take very long. They took about two minutes on the grill and all I've done is dress them in a bit more oil and salt, loads of lemon zest, lemon juice and some chopped chilli over the top. And they're really, really tasty. They're super tender and really nice and smoky from the charring. So the next recipe we're gonna do is just using the pods that would normally go to waste. So we're gonna prepare the beans exactly the same as we did last time by de-stringing them. And then all you wanna do is just gently squeeze down the pod and then prise it open until you can pick out all the beans. All we're gonna do once we've got the pods is just cut them into chip shapes and I'm gonna do them on a slight angle just so they're a nicer shape on the plate. Just put the chips into milk. I'm using soya milk, but you could use almond milk or any other milk. And then into a spice flour, which I've got ground cumin and ground coriander, but you could use nigella seeds or any other spices. And then we're just gonna dust them so they're lightly coated and then put them into oil at about 180 degrees for about two minutes or until they're golden brown. So these come out of the fryer, they're really nice and golden brown and they're really crispy. All I've done is just drizzled over like a tahini yogurt and loads of fresh herbs. It's like they're tempura battered and they're really good. Thanks very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and give both of these recipes a go because they're great ways of using up stuff that normally goes to waste. And if there's anything else you want to see us cook, talk about or prepare, then leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more weekly veg hacks.